It is currently estimated that more than 4 million Venezuelans have migrated from their country. According to UN Refugee Agency, an international organization for migration, Venezuela is among the world's biggest recent displacement crises. Entire families have been forced to start from scratch. Some, like the Marfa family, have even decided to return to the country of their ancestors, Italy. The idea was after we leave Venezuela, we establish our Arapera restaurant here in Rome. However, when I sold everything to bring us here, I sold at a bad time and lost everything. Frank Moffa says it was hard to set up his company. When he first arrived to Italy, he could not work in his field. However, although it was difficult, he didn't give up in order to improve his family's conditions. Today, everyone works together in El Mais. It is a small restaurant in the heart of the tourist center of the Eternal City. They provide Venezuelan food to Romans and tourists very close to the Vatican that also include gluten-free. The most beautiful thing is to be with family. What I always say is a diamond here is my wife. It can be said that she was born in a kitchen, as from a young age she has been cooking. She practically grew up there. Their daughter also helps in the kitchen, preparing what has become the world icon of Venezuelan cuisine, arepas, where their son helps to attend to the public in a warm, hospitable Venezuelan style. It is a characteristic that makes this restaurant very special. On the verge of its third birthday, El Mais has become a meeting place for Venezuelan migrants and tourists in Rome. What really motivates us the most and makes us work harder is when you hear Venezuelans say, this arepa is good, or the cachapa is as if we ate it in Venezuela. The integration of migrants and refugees is one of the greatest challenges in countries such as the United States or throughout Europe. The Italian-Venezuelan family, Moffa, is a clear example of how such integration is possible.